In this video, we're going to focus on how to install the Pi Labels plugin, which is called the Chart.js plugin labels in Chart.js. And this is very important because this is video one. We're going to learn how to install it, and this will be an entire series of this plugin. And this plugin is quite good. However, and this is a very important warning, you might be confused because there is a older version which is not working anymore, and someone else fork that version from that moment on and has updated it so all right so let me give you a quick background history about this so first of all if we're going to use it you have to pay attention that it must be from this source here of david violante so this is the person who eventually updated the charges plugin labels which was originally from this developer here but this developer has stopped updating it and maybe it might update in the near future, but who knows? However, however, David eventually updated it to make it compatible with Charge.js 3. This specific plugin is really focused on pie or donut chart related items. And originally, it was based on this specific plugin here, which is called the plugin Pie Chart Out Labels. Although this is a wonderful one, however, this one does not work because it hasn't been updated as well for almost four years. So what eventually happened is that we're going to use this one specifically here and I'm going to show you step by step how we're going to do it. First of all, what we want to have here is a default code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chartgs3.com, getting started, and make sure you go to this specific link. And if you see this here, you can just ignore this. For some reason, Google Chrome is giving me an error with that. However. If you scroll down here, eventually what I want is I want to copy this chunk of code here and basically get a default code. So I'm going to copy that, put it in here, and then I'm going to cut out this specific item, put it in there, and then save this and refresh. All right, so now we have what we call our bar chart. What I want to do now, I want to convert it into a pie chart quickly. So to do this, I want to make sure that it will fit and so the width will be 400 because it will become or it will be converted into a square the moment we say here pi or donut so we say here pi let's save that one and then of course remove the scales scales are not necessary for the pi chart refresh and there we are so now we have a nice pi chart here and if you've used any of the other one let's say the data labels the chart yes plugin data labels which is quite similar but data labels is a universal this one here, while it has some features for the for the bar chart, it is highly, highly specialized on working this pie and donut chart. So what we want to do here is now go to this specific item here from David Violante and go to this specific one. And how will you figure out that this is from it? You will see this, but if you go to the URL, it will indicate here his initials, David or DV, so Delta Victory. So if you scroll down here, you will also find the specific link here as well. This is the one basically we, we need. We can copy this and you can see here as well, we're looking for this. If you go to this link, you will see this is a specific item. You can see the creator of this specific, specific item as well. So this is basically what we need. And all we, what we're going to do here is we're going to put this in here. Since this is a JavaScript that is dependent on Chart.js JavaScript library, so we need to copy this going to put in here however this must be loaded first which is the chart.js library and then secondly we're going to load this one here so we're going to paste this in here we're going to save this and once we save this nothing happens yet and oh for some reason it does happen i'm surprised even that it happens however i will show you as well what we need to do because it might not work at all if you don't notice anything here however it might be immediately here and if it doesn't work, I would highly recommend you to go to the following here in the options, put in your enter. And then we say here the plugins. And then here in curly braces, we see labels. Basically, within here, we can start to work and put in specific items in here. So, uh, in this case, we already have it. And then in the next video, we're going to start digging deeper into this. So if I save this one, this should eventually work as well, as you can see here. There's no real change. So next video, we're going to focus more on what we could do to 
give this some more items here because this is already quite nice that we have percentage but you might not want to have percentage